the last video, we demoed some new colors by Lureworks, and if you saw that video, you might remember this one, chocolate. When I saw this one, a certain bait pattern came to mind, namely the Z-Man Mud Bug. That's what I'm talking about right there. Got that chocolatey top, kind of that dark brown top, and then a very interesting belly. There it is in the TRD. I really think that chocolate is going to be dynamite in the top. So we're gonna attempt this one today, and we're gonna spice up the belly with a little hollow shift. Our remelt from the color demo video is all warmed up. When I did that, uh, we had about 12 drops to the cup, and it looked really good, but it definitely needed to be more saturated, especially for this pattern. So, got the chocolate back out, and we are going to um, drop in another eight. All right, there's another eight, just to kind of thicken it up. We definitely want saturation for this pattern. We might even go a little bit more, but that's a good start. Now I think, um, just looking at that TRD and, um, and the other, whatever that hog thing was, see, the top is darker than the chocolate as it sits, so I think we're gonna need to add, yeah, just some black. Let's do one drop at a time, though, so it doesn't get out of hand. No droppo. My guess is we're gonna need maybe two, even three. Yeah, definitely more. Let's go another two. That's three total. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Looks very good. I think the only thing I wanna do extra, this has got 035 black flake from the demo. I want to add large flake for a little bit of added texture. Quarter teaspoon since there's only an eighth of it and black is the only thing that we're going to add to this top one. Yeah, there we go. And that'll help darken it up as well. A little bit more black flake, kind of acts like more pigment. So I think that while it might not be exactly uh, Z-Man, I'm liking it. All right, our second cup is all warmed up for the belly. And this one's going to be very interesting. Let me once again get the reference picture out. So looking at the TRD, we can see that it's got a lot of copper, but the belly kind of looks clear, but maybe not. It might have just a tint to it. It almost looks like a gray tint to it. But then I, I found another picture of that boar hogs Look real carefully right there. That's clear, folks. I think the gray is just being able to see that top uh, darker color through it. But that, to me, clear as day is <laughs> just that, clear. So this is gonna be a clear belly that we are going to spice up with not just copper. Yes, we will put copper in it to stay true to the mud bug pattern by Z-Man, but Onyxia <laughs> by Hollow Shift has these awesome color or, uh, copper essences to it, and I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. So let's get started. Uh, it also had some black in it. Or maybe it didn't, maybe that was bleed over. I don't know, but I'm going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of 035 black just because even if it didn't, I think. Uh, one, it will make it look better, and two, it will help bring out our Nixia. We are gonna put some copper, 015 copper in there. Smaller amount though, uh, 16th of a teaspoon, and this is smaller flake size than what I think is in the Z-Man deal. But I like this size, and to be honest, the, uh, <clears throat> the copper 35 or 40 that I have I don't really care for. I need to buy some new and get it replaced. But this one I do like, the 015 stuff is good. All right, let's mix that up, kind of get our base. For my buddy, Art Fowler, here it is, man, I'm doing it. Flake is going in first. He's told me for over a year that building colors, I should put my flake in first. So this one's for you, Art. 
Blake is in there first. All right, to that, let's go to Hollow Shift Onyxia. This is the same juicy stuff that we used for Molten Swamp Dragon. If you guys saw that Bladed Slayer video, Onyxia was one of the main elements. That was one eighth of a teaspoon. And I remember thinking it was faint. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't have to remember. It was awesome, and I think this is going to be likewise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Golly, Hollow Shift never disappoints. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Sweetness. These are right around 320. Uh, belly color is on the left, because we got belly on the left here and belly on the left in these. Let's get these shot. Purge those out, make sure they're coming around and coming out together. Here we go. Purge the block. Beautiful. Nice and smooth. There's one. Two. And three. Busting out the old Texas rig. Sometimes you just gotta go classic. See if we can find somebody hungry. There, one's got it. Ooh, he's decent. He's decent. Ran away with it. <laughs> he's no giant, but we'll take him. Isolated structure, pipe. Come on, gotta be something beside that. Yep, there's one, there's one. I knew there had to be something by that pipe. Another little dude, but we appreciate him. We're all cooled off, and I realize I didn't even tell you what mold we were shooting, but honestly, I mean, it's mud bug. That's literally another name for a crawdad. So what better mold to shoot this thing in than the Epic Bait Molds Glory Crawl. Oh yeah. All right, let's check it out. Mwah. Opened up on the belly and the belly looks absolutely freaking fantastic. Man, that Anixia is something else. Look at that. Holy moly. Wow. Now I know there's more stuff in here than the Z-Man. It's got some greens that you can see. Obviously the copper's in there from both the Anixia as well as the flake. We added black flake as well, which just makes it work in my opinion. Oh man, look at that. Look at, you, you could do a whole craw out of just that color. Mm, mm, mm. Let's check out the top. <laughs> Uh-huh, chocolatey deliciousness. There we go, folks. Mud bug, my version. I think that dark chocolate, ooh, dark chocolate. Is that what we call this? Dark chocolate mud bug? I don't know what we call it, but I call it good. Mercy sakes, look at the lamination. Look at this color combo. Hoo-hoo, it's gonna get smashed. See if we can find somebody to lay down here. Who wants a little mud buggy goodness? It's chocolate. Dark chocolate even. How big the fish are, how many you're catching. If you're catching them on a Texas rig, it's just fun. It's just freaking fun. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that the Z-Man version catches a ton of fish, but uh, maybe I'm biased, but kind of like mine better. I do appreciate you coming along for the ride today. Thanks for watching, and until the next time, see you guys in the show.